Hello everyone. Today I'm working on this computer. This is a brand new computer and I'm setting it up for for use. And this computer you see it comes pre-installed with Windows Windows 11. And it is to be deployed in an active directory environment so and uh, I did a quick check uh, I did a quick check and here I see that the Windows edition is Windows 11 home um, the version is Windows the version is 21H2 21H2 is as of today I'm doing this recording is the latest Windows 11 version. Okay, so um, this Windows this Windows edition will not work with Active Directory. What will work with Active Directory is minimum of Windows Pro. And so what that means is that I have to upgrade this Windows 11 home edition to Windows 11 Pro so that it can be deployed in the active in, an, in, in the active directory environment it's an office environment so and the office environment has active directory so all computers are expected to be part of the domain okay okay so can do that. I go to system. Nine system. Go to about. Right here, you can. You have a quick. You have a list of uh, the spec of the computer. In this environment, you can see it has um. 8 gig and 8 gig RAM and the 64 bit operating system and all of that. You can see here the Windows edition is Windows 11 Ohm and the version is 21H2 and as of as, as today that's the newest uh, version of Windows 11. Okay, it's a Lenovo computer and all of that. Okay, so to do that, to do that, um, tap on that, and you can see activation state here is says it's active. And uh, to upgrade, so meanwhile, I I got um, a Windows 11 key. And uh, I tried um, um, so I got a Windows 11 key imputed it and it didn't work I bought that key online and it didn't work okay so to do that um, next I'll click on change product key okay so you see change product key now this is what I have to do now. So if if you want a different version of um, of the Windows edition, you have to impute the product key of that edition. And so since I want Windows 11 Pro instead of Windows instead of the Windows 11 Home edition, I will click here and impute the Windows 11 key and so the Windows 11 key I have which I bought directly from the online store or from an online store um, will not work doesn't work directly so what I want to do here is to first of all put Windows 11 or Windows 10 um, generic upgrade key 
Now, what does the generic upgrade key do? The generic up upgrade key will prepare the computer for the version, for the Pro, but it will not activate it. I input it here and that will prepare it for the upgrade. So with this generic key, uh, say next, upgrade your edition of Windows. Upgrading your edition of Windows will add new features to Windows. Before you start, make sure you save your work and close any app. The upgrade might take a while and this will rest and this device will restart. You won't be able to use the device until it's done. Yes, I agree to that. So, start. Okay, so here it's preparing. It's upgrading the features for Windows 11 Pro. Okay, so this will take a while and Okay, it's real quick. It's now 70%. So, we'll give it a moment and let it be done. You'll see it's 70%. Um, 75% done. So, let's give it a moment and get it done. So um, it did automatic restart after the upgrade process was done. It did automatic restart. Um, let's check what has been done. So I go to settings. In settings, I look for systems. Okay, right here it says Windows isn't activated. We didn't get that before. So I'll go to about and scroll down so what do we have pro key and activation okay so now the information here has changed so to take a good look okay so now we have um, this has to be activated so you see now it is windows 11 Pro. So you see this method. So you see the generic upgrade key cannot be activated. No, it cannot. It will only prepare the computer for the upgrade. Now you can see now all the features of Windows 11 Pro. All features of Windows 11 Pro has been installed so this computer is no longer windows 11 ohm okay so next can get um can do product key change again and now put the windows 11 pro key that will be activated if for instance you got your product key from online um product key from third party sellers and the direct upgrade is not working or the direct upgrade does not work this is how you you do it go to the generic upgrade when that is done you can now impute the windows 11 pro key and that will now do the magic okay so thank you